Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Saturday morning, a date with the CID. Machako Senator Johnston Mutama would present himself to the CID officers to record a statement. Utterances he made at the Solidarity with Teachers Rally Wednesday at Uhuru Park have him currently under investigation for possible incitement and hate speech. He was not alone. His court family standing by him in word and deed, they say. Instead of wasting the time of Senator Mudama and our time, look, I have to, to waste my time coming here and then doing very serious issues today because my senator has been asked to come here supposedly to, to be charged. I don't know for what, what crime is, is, is committed <laughs> by basically saying that people should do their duties, the people have failed to do their duties, people are in, in being involved in graft. Yet when they merged, he had not recorded any statement after all. The police have not accurately explained what they want Senator Mudama to answer to. They wanted a statement and they made us assertions that we know what Mudama said at Uhuru Park. So what Mudama said in his statement is that he has nothing to say because he does not know what they want. As such, they say they have written to the DPP claiming that Interior Cabinet Secretary Joseph Nkaiseri's directive to Mutama to record a statement was in violation of the Constitution and that it was not in his mandate to do so. Now he has no power and authority to say such a thing at all. If it had been Inspector General saying such a thing, I would not be speaking to you in the tone and manner that I'm doing at all. But the DPP and the police spokesman stand remain they were in no way directed on how the investigative process should move as already a multi-agency team was formed with officers from the CID, NCIC and the ODPP to investigate statements and utterances made during the court rally and report back to the Inspector General and the Director of Public Prosecutions. Muthama's lawyers, John Akaminwa and Harundubi, had, however, contacted the DPP Kiriako Tobiko yesterday, expressing concerns over the Machako senator's security. They claimed his security detail had been withdrawn and, as such, wanted the DPP to order the Inspector General of Police to provide security for him. The DPP says that, however, is not within his mandate. Police spokesperson Charles Owino says he is not aware that Mutama security has been withdrawn but maintains provision of security is mandatory for all Kenyans. The reactions to the utterances made at the court rally continue to intensify. Deputy President William Ruto lashed out at the opposition, asking them to mind their language. Even if you have nothing useful to add, don't bring vulgar language, insults, insulting the president, insulting women, it will not add any value to the future of our country. We want to ask all leaders to respect those who elected them. And church leaders would add their voice to the debate. Unless we are applying the law selectively, we expect all those politicians who uttered hateful words and abusive words, especially against the presidency, to be prosecuted. Jackie Maribe, Citizen Weekend.